that's uh that's horrendous maybe i would laugh first and then i would go cry This first story comes from a maintenance manager. They identified a problem with an idler shaft on one of the machines. So they created a, an emergency work order. When the technician was creating the work order, instead of adding the bill of materials for just that machine, they added the bill of materials for the whole section of the plant, which was about 1700 parts. That triggered the automatic purchase of those parts as well. So they spent oh, the rest of the man. afternoon calling vendors to cancel orders. Whoa. Not good. Ugh. That's an expensive mistake. The amount of chaos that can be created if somebody makes a simple mistake like that is uh, astronomical. It's a big blunder to make. It potentially could kind of tie back into training the, the end user and training the technicians properly. You gotta realize these guys are juggling several different things. So it could easily happen. Put yourself in that person's shoes. What is like running through your mind? Oh, shucks. What did I just do? <laughs> technicians got his boss mad at them. Asset that's still at risk of failure. Work order that probably has to be canceled and re-entered. That would make your life suck. You would spend the most of the time, uh, you know, while you're making the calls, figuring out how in the world that this happened. And how can I prevent this from happening again? On a scale of one to 10, from no big deal to brain melting headache, what would you rate this? Seven. Eight. Eight and a half. Nine. If that idler arm fails, line goes down, you go to at least a 10. It's a major inconvenience, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. It's affecting, you know, suppliers and third parties and you have to do all the calls. This is story number two. This person's team would stage parts on a big trolley. They would print out the work orders and place it with the parts. They were going around and doing gearbox oil changes. They drained the oil and they put the old oil on this trolley. The old oil tipped over and spilled on the trolley and destroyed 25 completed work orders. They had to rewrite all the work orders and make sure the parts weren't damaged all while cleaning up the oil spill. So it cost them a 30 minute delay in a four hour maintenance window, which stalled production and cost the plant tens of thousands of dollars. Don't use paper work orders. I'm really surprised that this plant's still using paper for work orders. Paper is so destructible. Flammable oil, water, tearing it up, misplacing it. That's one, re one good reason why you try to get rid of paper. I'm surprised they lost that little time. I think the parts stuff terrifies me the most. That's where the major cost is. If you had any electrical parts that got oil on them that could damage them, then you're, you're really screwed. My thought isn't like to the work or the work orders or, or the parts. It's thinking about all the logistics that that disrupts. What would you rate this on a scale of one to 10? One, no big deal, brush it off. 10 being, I wanna go home, shut off all the lights and go to bed because it's so bad. I feel like a six. About a five. So the manager's got a headache. This this is like a six or seven for them. Person who, who knocked over the oil, this is a 10. They've gone from something that should have been over and done with in minutes to something now that's cost the rest of the company hours. It's a major problem, but uh, again, you know, no fires, no major alarms. Last story here. This one comes from a maintenance manager again. They had a technician who went to go do a work order and the machine had some electrical component. The technician went to turn off the, the switch and there were two boxes. One was for the shutdown for just that asset and one was the master switch. They did not know which one was which, so they ended up hitting the master switch. There was four production lines going. It just stopped all of them. Took each line 45 minutes to get back up and running again. Um, Damn. I've almost lived that before in my early, early days in maintenance supervision. It happens a lot. How did this person get sent alone with no training and no awareness of the protocols, a lot of mistakes were made in that one. You hit that switch, everything goes down. What's going through your mind? The first thing is gonna be panic. Oh my God, what did I just do? That silence is gonna be almost overwhelming. That silence tells you like, you just did something you shouldn't have. It's not necessarily his fault. If the equipment is not properly labeled, it's a 50-50 guess. As a supervisor, I wanna make sure now it doesn't happen again. Make sure there's proper instructions, make sure your technicians are properly trained. On a scale of one to 10, one, brush it off your shoulder, no problem, to 10, I just wanna go scream for an hour. Where would you place this? Be an eight, nine. That is a 10. That would be an 11, for sure. Every minute 
is thousands of dollars. With the lost production time, the risk of potentially having startup profit. If you learn a lesson, you know, that's a two. You've actually gained something. If you don't take the time to actually learn from that mistake, 10 out of 10, and it's gonna happen again, and you're gonna cost your company another tens of thousands of dollars. Thanks for tuning in to another Fixers React. If you don't wanna have a work order horror story, check out Fix's work order insights report. It automatically analyzes thousands of your work orders like that. It also gives you a list of work orders that are causing breakdowns, delays, waste, and more, so you can fix the problem immediately. Thanks again, and I'll see you later.